until its tower defense is done. Until its tower defense is done. Everybody's is now using tower. Toilet Tower Defense. And for the people who do not know what Toilet Tower Defense is, it is a game made by the developer Talanthric. According to Roblox, he made this game on June 17th, 2023. As I am making this video, the game is at 40,000 players, which is not a lot compared to the 100,000 players that used to be playing this game every update pay to win. This is something that Toa Tower Defense has struggled with for a pretty long time. For a quick example, I have this video from Bimmy Blocks, and it was made about five months ago. There's nothing wrong with exclusive units, but when you make a 50,000 DPS splash unit for 699 Robux, this is how the game becomes pay to win, and I feel bad not for people like me, but for the thousands of kids, and maybe you guys watching, who could probably never get this unit. All right, guys, it's yap time. No, I am just kidding. I'm going to make this a little bit more serious, okay? So my second point is about the community. Now, what I mean by the community is, you know, the people in the community, but also what goes on inside of the community. Now, most of Toilet Tower Defense's fan base is children. Kind of restating what Bimmy Block said, making children, you know, get their mom's credit card or whatever, you know, to pay for stuff in the shop is not a very smart idea. I'm going to put up a picture right now of the shop. This is what the shop looks like. You could purchase a few different things in the shop and now some people will just say, you know, oh, well, every Roblox game has this. This is very true. Every Roblox game does have something like this, I guess you could say, but these are things that you can buy in the game. Units that you can buy in the game that will give you a competitive advantage over just units that you get in the summon. Okay, so another point that I want to make in the community would be the YouTubers. Now, you know, I can find some examples or, you know, I can kind of state the obvious ones. I'm sure everyone knows in he, and I'll get into that in a minute, but he was a very prime clickbaiter. This is what I want to talk about is the clickbaiting of Toilet Tower Defense. There's a lot of Toilet Tower Defense YouTubers that do clickbait. Now, it is okay to, you know, add a little clickbait here and there, right? I'm sure we've all done it, but here's the main thing. You cannot be doing clickbait over and over to where it's just like very obvious but it's literally just for clicks and just for money and i feel like a lot of you know toilet tower defense youtubers struggle with that is you know just having everything be money driven money this money that i don't care what genre you are doing on youtube if you are doing it for money you are not going to make it anywhere you have to have a passion for it at some point you know everybody starts somewhere i think that having a passion for what you do is the most important thing ever but anyways moving on from that the other part of the community <clears throat> any yes i've dropped a video on this before i'm not really gonna talk about it that much because i do want this this video to be a little bit more you know kid friendly yes and he was a pretty bad person for the community if i do say so myself and nobody really wants him back but i'm using him as an example because this is how the community is dying a little bit or has caused toilet tower defense to die off especially because of things like this Okay, and so for my next point, we have the RNG. Now, if you are not familiar with what RNG means, RNG is basically like your luck. So you know how they make it 0.1% chance to get something, and then you know they'll make a common that has a 99% chance. I have a few different examples of this, but I'm going to put a screenshot up right now of my friend Samurai Blocks. Now, I went into a Discord and I asked, you know, a few different YouTubers for their opinions on, you know, why they think that toilet tower defense is dying at the moment and this was just one of the things that samurai block said you know he was talking about how there's too much rng so i was like you know he's right i should probably touch on this topic just a little bit also the rest of the screenshots will be towards the end of the video if you want to see why they said that toilet tower defense is dying anyways though i think at the moment i can actually give a few examples of this in game right now if you go to the basic crate it is a 0.01 percent chance to get this godly now this godly is really good but just so you know it doesn't even get you that far in the actual game like it's not that good you can probably beat nightmare with it. it's not that good 
101 for the Titan Sandman. Keep in mind, this unit was bugged for a very long time, and, you know, it took them forever to fix that as well. And you can only place three of that of, of that unit as well. And this kind of brings me back to my pay-to-win kind of point, because if you are a free-to-play player, these things are very hard to get. I am a YouTuber. I have bought certain things on this game. My channel is Toilet Tower Defense Based. But kids and, you know, the fan base playing the game cannot buy these things without having to, you know, get their mom's credit card or something. But anyways, back to the RNG part of it. I can give another example right now. A 0.05% chance. Do you understand the rarity and how hard it is to get that? It's a 99.95% chance to get the uncommon, but it is a 0.05 to get that. And a few people would, would defend this, you know, talking about how, you know, oh, you're going to be getting the best units in the game. That's why it's so rare. I am aware of that. I know that's why it's so rare, but some of these units do not even get you that far in the game anymore. And I'm about to bring up a few examples because this has been in the game for as long as time. All right, for my first example, I want to bring up the St. Patrick's Day update. Now, you had a 99.9% .9 chance to get the uncommon in it, and then you had a 0.1% chance to get this Titan Cloverman. Titan Cloverman is actually a pretty respectable unit, to be fair. Uh, but that is very very low odds and my next most craziest one on this list is the recent update the clock event update you have a 0.1% chance to get the mythic a 0.01% chance to get the godly and a 0.001% chance to get the ultimate now you're probably like equipped the ultimate is extremely rare yeah yeah I get it but what I'm saying is that is insane odds there is no person who is free to play who is going to get that i'm pretty sure that's like one in maybe 10 million if not more i could be wrong someone correct me please and real quick i'm gonna pop up a few more examples the spider tv back then 0.1 percent chance and it was the best unit in the game at the time but still insane odds and this is gonna be the best odds on the list a one percent for the engineer cameraman back then the engineer cameraman now is very mid but you know it was still a one percent back then and then the last one for this list another 0.1% chance. And this right now is one of the rarest units in the whole entire video game. But me and a few other YouTubers have struggled with this before. And what I mean by that is I know a few YouTubers who were trying to get that the new Titan Sandman, right? And they spent over 30,000 coins trying to get it alone. I think one of my friends spent over 100,000 coins trying to get it and still did not get it, including a luck game pass and a luck boost and still did not get it. All right, so my next point is Skibbity Toilets. Yes, very brain rot. Just kidding. Anyways, the first thing that I want to talk about with Skibbity Toilet is no matter what people want to say, it is dying off just a little bit. And before, you know, little Timothy comes out in the comments and tells me, oh my gosh, it's not dying off, Equip. What are you talking about? For example, I will put it on screen right now. The most viewed video that Da Frick Boom has on Skibbity Toilet has 155 million views. Compare that to his newest Skibbity Toilet episode and it is at 13 million views. Now, a lot of people would argue that this is not something that has died off. Now, I had to convince myself of it too and have my friends show me. Like, you know, I, I, at the start, I didn't really agree with it either. Because 13 million views is a lot of views. But whenever you compare it to his older episodes, you know, ones that have had half of 100 million views or maybe even 100 million views, 13 million views in about three days is not very good. So yes, it has fallen off just a little bit. And without Skibbity Toilet, there is no Toilet Tower Defense. Everything in Toilet Tower Defense is related to Skibbity Toilet in some way, shape, or form. And when Skibbity Toilet dies off, it's not going to make it any better for Toilet Tower Defense whatsoever. But like I've said many times, if Toilet Tower Defense, you know, Talanthric, I am Evan, would just release updates on their own and come up with their own ideas, it would be a much, much easier for them. But no, it is solely based off somebody else's ideas and they just bring it into a game.
Okay, so the next extra point that I want to bring up is what YouTubers had to say about this. So basically, I went in a Discord and I asked them their opinions and why they think Toilet Tower Defense is dying. So starting off with my friend Tiger, he said only one reason Skibbity Toilet is dying, like not that active anymore. See, now I do agree with this. We just went over how Skibbity Toilet was dying, so it seems like he has the same exact opinion I have. And then I already showed this one of my friend Samurai saying too much pay to win, too much RNG, you know which i do agree with that one as well and then my friend samurai also added how there's no new modes very true and always endless mode more toilets probably a typo right there but what he means is that they're always adding more toilets on endless mode they're not really adding anything necessarily new my friend qwe said ttd won't also make updates on their own this is literally just like what i said they refuse to make updates on their own and basically just take from skibbity toilet so yeah my friend rk had to add on he said lack of updates one update per month isn't going to last long you know his is a little bit more lengthy link lengthy oh god and i do really agree with it though as a youtuber one update is not going to last us very long especially one update per month and as a youtuber you need at least one update per week to help you get out more content rk also added on he said the recent updates seem very rushed last update the sand titan was bugged for days and we weren't given the revamped engineer we were promised the revamped engineer cameraman this update never got it Titan salmon was however bugged i did mention that as well and yeah i just overall agree all right i gotta show one more thing just real quick this is the concurrent players in the last one month the two spikes that you see on the chart are whenever there was updates but as you can see it has been on a steady decline or just been staying around in the same exact spot and the reason that it has been in the same exact spot is because of the lack of updates anyways i kind of made this extra part of the video just so you can see some other youtubers and their opinions on everything that has happened but i think i'm gonna do one more segment where i kind of show um you know all four points that have been throughout this video and you know a few proof screenshots along with them and then we will get to our beautiful looking outro Okay, guys, I am not going to lie. This video took an extremely long time to edit. So let me know if you liked it. Um, I'm very happy to make this documentary, to be honest, because, you know, sometimes when you just don't put a lot of effort into a game, you know, sometimes it just happens, you know, but I did put a lot of effort into this video. So if you did enjoy it, make sure to like and subscribe. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next one and goodbye.